the union territory and the capital of twin states haryana and punjab chandigarh holds an important place on the map of india a planned city known for its lush green gardens cleanliness and the most remarkable the post graduate institute of medical education and research widely known as pgi The PGI owes its inception to the vision of late Sardar Pratap Singh Kero, the then Chief Minister of Punjab, and the distinguished medical educationists of the then combined state of Punjab, supported by the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, who considered the institutions of scientific knowledge as temples of learning and the places of pilgrimage. The birth of this landmark institution was in 1963. This was the vision of these great people who could create these kind of institution. The foundation of PGI was initiated by renowned medical teachers, Dr. S. S. Anand, Dr. Tulsi Das, Dr. S. R. Dhal, and Dr. P. N. Chatani. The institute was originally under the government of undivided Punjab which later became an autonomous body under the Act of Parliament in 1967 functioning under the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare Government of India Today PGI is known for its high ethical standards and fair practices Every brick of the edifice bears the name of a remarkable man who in his life attained the highest eminence as a physician, medical teacher, administrator and an outstanding public figure Dr. Pranath Chatani the former director of PGI Chandigarh Well today is the 100th anniversary of Dr P N Chutani Dr P N Chutani and this medical field are one I cannot imagine PGI without Dr Chutani Bahut varas pehle Faiz sahab ne likha tha ki aaya hamare desh mein ek khushnaba fakir आया और आके गज़ल ख़ान चला गया लिखा तो उन्होंने अलामा इकबाल के बारे में था लेकिन एन सही उतरता है मेरी नज़र में चटानी साहब के बारे में डॉक्टर पी एन चटानी वॉज बॉर्न इन लेक नाउ इन पाकिस्तान ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ फेबररी नाइनटीन फिफ्टीन ही वॉज द सन ऑफ जस्टिस रूप नारायण एंड श्रीमती विद्यावती from a highly distinguished family his grandfather rai bahadur tilokchand rose to be the deputy commissioner of a district which was a great distinction for an indian in the british raj he was sent to his uncle's house in punjab for better schooling his uncle's transferable job made him move to shimla lahore and amritsar Finally he passed his matriculation from government high school in Amritsar. He studied at the famous government college in Lahore and completed his medical studies at the equally famous King Edward Medical College. Dr Chotani was not only an outstanding medical student but was equally good in sports like tennis and swimming. in which he was university champion later he also started playing golf and became an accomplished golf player besides he was fond of farming and could be seen in his farm very often after his retirement he was very hard working was great physician and a sportsman 
he used to play golf in later period earlier on he used to swim and he was a university swimmer of punjab state university the desire to serve the mankind was forever alive in his mind and an example of this is the quetta earthquake where he selflessly volunteered to treat the victims Few people had a great influence in Dr. P. N. Chetani's life. His teacher Colonel Meechan had extraordinary effect on him. His style of teaching, his style of uh, talking, and his style of uh, treating patients and diagnoses all in his copy. And he paid him back by the utmost devotion till Dr. Meechan was living. During his MD in Lahore. the second world war started which had a great influence on dr chatani it was a turning point in his political thinking he was influenced by the leaders of left wing students movement he admired military services and volunteered to join the army where he served with the british army as a doctor in iraq Later he followed Gandhi's principles and started putting on khadi clothes became a teetotaler and a pure vegetarian a habit which remained with him throughout his life 1947 was a period of great turmoil Pakistan and India came into painful existence through violence and fanaticism after partition of the country Dr P N Chatani moved to India and worked in the department of medicine at Medical College Amritsar and Patiala In 1962 the then chief minister of Punjab Sardar Pratap Singh Kero invited him along with Professor Tulsi Das and Professor Santokh Singh Anand to start the post graduate institute of medical education and research at chandigarh he became the first dean of pgi and later became the director in 1969 1969 mein santokh singh anand ji retire ho gaye aur unke baad dr chutani sahab director bane sabse behtareen administrator bahut hi badhiya kisam ke ustad teacher और पेशेंट केयर के लिए उनका कोई मुकाबला नहीं किया जा सकता डॉक्टर चटानी वॉज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर क्रिएटिंग रिच ट्रेडिशन इन पी जी आई विच आर यूनिक इन द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ आर कंट्री एनफोर्स पंक्चुअलिटी एंड डिसिप्लिन एंड आई रिमेंबर एज ए स्टूडेंट टू थिंग्स विच रियली इनकल्टेटेड इन टू आस एबिट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क वन वॉज एट ओ क्लॉक and we were surprised that uh, 8 o'clock you have to be there and he will be always there few minutes before 8 o'clock dr p n chatani was obsessed with cleanliness i i remember vividly uh, walking in the corridors of pgi uh, walking behind him and his um, desire for a clean pgi used to be so much that he would pick up any uh, piece of paper that would be lying there without really caring for others to uh, pick the picket up for others Dr P N Chatani retired in 1978 He was the longest serving director of PGI who played a pivotal role in the development of the institution Dr Chatani as a director would always be remembered because uh, the traditions that he set up in the institute Uh, were so strong that they continue to be followed even after uh, he retired from service almost 25 years ago 
He won many awards and accolades. He was awarded Padma Bhushan, Dr. B. C. Roy National Award and Shakuntala Amir Chand Prize for ICMR. He remained International Counselor of International Physician for Prevention of Nuclear War, the Nobel Laureate Peace Organization. Dr. P. N. Chatani established a nursing home, Chandigarh Medical Center, in 1979 to provide medical facilities in the heart of the city. But PGI continued to remain his first love. For him, PGI was everything in his life. All his energy, all his uh, thoughts, all his uh, thinking was about the welfare of the PGI. And uh, I remember many moments, even when he was retired and we went to him and he said, I was thinking only of PGI all the time. Dr. P. N. Chatani was affectionately known by most as a visionary, God sent to medicine. He was a dynamic man with a magnetic personality. I can say that I have been in my life and I have been in my life. He had a Russian dil, an enlightened mind, and a Bedag Nazar, an unbiased very clear sight. He was so self-dependent and organized that no one could suspect his health was deteriorating. He carried on with his work in the same meticulous way and he disliked if anybody ever tried to help him in this regard. थोड़ा ऊपर रखने में उनको दिक्कत आ रही थी तो मैं दूर सीट पे बैठा था मैं उठ के खड़ा होकर वापस आया मैं अंकल मैं रख दूं ना 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 बिल्कुल नहीं हाथ नहीं लगाना <laughs> मुझे ताजुब सा हुआ मैंने कहा क्या हुआ कहने के मैंने वादा किया अपने आप से कि जिस दिन मैं अपना सामान खुद नहीं उठा सकूंगा उस दिन मैं सफर करना छोड़ दूंगा दिस हार्ड टास्क मास्टर breathed his last on 19th July 1996, leaving behind his trend-setting legacy. He could give every drop of his blood, every inch of his flesh to help PGI in any way he could. Give us the inspiration of what it ought to be. You are a living monument of what simplicity means and, and your transparent honesty of purpose, your hard work by now. Hundred years back, this mortal human came into existence to create his own brand of humanity and to leave behind his immortal goodness.